Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. In today's video, we are going to give our living room a little refresh and try to transform it into more of a cozy family room. Right now there is just too much white and gray going on. It's pretty empty and it feels more like a formal living room than the cozy hangout space we want it to be for our family. So the first step was to clear everything out of the living room. We have loved these couches the last three years. We really have. They were comfortable and good durable fabric and they are really pretty couches. But I've talked about this in previous videos that after three years they were starting to pill a lot and I couldn't keep up with using a fabric shaver on the couch all the time. These couches get used every single day, especially by our three kids, and trying to keep a couch white with three boys, especially a one-year-old, is difficult, so we decided to make the switch to leather couches because they're going to be easier to clean. I don't have to worry about stains, and the couches we got that you'll see here in a little bit look and feel more like a cozy family room couch than these did. I'm also taking this rug out of here. It was very thin and flat and had no cushion or coziness to it at all. Jalen really wanted to have a very shaggy, thick, cozy rug for the living room. So we'll be adding that here in a little bit. And as you can tell by just the whole theme of this makeover, it is to make this room more cozy and warm. It's a space that we use every day right here in the main area of the house by the kitchen. So we just want it to feel more like a family room. So now that everything is cleared out of the room, we are going to paint the trim around these two sliding doors. Two months ago, we finally replaced the old metal sliding doors. Those old doors let in so much air. One was broken, so we're very happy to now have some beautiful, high quality sliding doors on this wall in the living room. This is my new favorite paintbrush. It is perfect for painting trim, or if you're trying to do in corners or up along the ceiling and really trying to get a straight line, this paintbrush is just perfect. And I usually don't have to tape when I use it because you're able to get a nice straight line. So it's got a really short rubber handle that's really easy to hold and then the brush is angled. I picked this one up at Lowe's and it's a really great paintbrush to just have on hand for any painting project you might be working on. Once the paint was dry, I got the fireplace wall dusted and then swept and mopped the floor before we laid down the new rug pad and rug. We are putting down a Mohawk dual surface pad under the rug just to make it nice and comfortable. This rug and the pad are from Boutique Rugs. The plush area rug is in the 10 by 13 size. It's very soft and so comfy to walk on and lay on and just really cozies up this space. It's a very off-white color which will be easier to clean and honestly I don't mind a white shag rug. White shag rugs are easier to clean than a white couch, especially since I got that Bissell little green carpet cleaner. That thing will get any spot out of a rug, especially shag rugs, as long as the spot hasn't sat there for months. We have a pure white shag rug in our bedroom and anytime something is spilled on that I just get the Bissell little green and it will clean it right up. 
and here I'm showing you a closer look at this rug. I really love the pattern and the tassels on the edge. It just really brings that southwest look into this area. And I also put our fabric samples of our couches there on top of the rug and you can see how they're going to be a little bit darker. So that is why I went with a lighter rug. Hello everyone, so it is Monday morning and the living room is completely empty. We got that rug put down and we're ready for our castlery furniture to get delivered this afternoon. I'm excited but also just a little bit nervous, just hoping that everything fits well in here and matches and all of that. I did make a mood board, I measured everything, I also got some samples. So we should be good to go, but I'm just anxious to see what it actually looks like in person here in the living room. A few other things are getting delivered this week as well. Hopefully by the end of the week, this room should be complete and will just be a nice cozy family room space. So like I said, I did order some samples from Castlery and that can really help when you're trying to pick out furniture just to see some samples of the fabric. It was nice to just be able to feel the fabric and see it in the room, see the two together. And this leather fabric, we like really tried to scratch at it and see if it would show marks at all or anything, and it does not. So we're very excited about that and hoping that these couches will be very kid friendly. So I'm gonna spend the morning getting the house cleaned up. It's Monday, so I need to get the laundry started. I'm gonna do some cooking. And then this afternoon, I'll grab the camera again once that delivery truck shows up. Okay, so seeing leather couches in here was a bit of an adjustment after having white light gray couches before, but we really love them. They may be the comfiest couches we've ever owned. It's so cozy to all curl up on this couch as a family and watch a movie. They are so soft and I love the low height. I'm a short person, so when I sat on the other couches, my feet were way up in the air. But with these low couches, my feet touch the ground and the low height is nice for the kids as well, especially Levi. He climbs up and down these couches all the time and it's been two weeks now since we've gotten them and the kids climb all over these couches and they still look perfect but I will keep you updated after a few months and just let you know how they're looking. I also love that these are flush with the ground. Now we don't have toys and books getting under the couches and we don't have to clean under them. These couches are the Jonathan leather sofas in the caramel color and they are from Castlery. Castlery is sponsoring today's video, so thank you to them. We partnered with them during the flip house renovation, so I'm really excited that we are getting to partner together again, this time for our home. I will link their website down below. They sell beautiful, high quality, modern furniture and they offer flat rate shipping, a 14 day return policy and warranty coverage. So for the two armchairs that are going to go on this side of the living room, I went with the pebble armchair in the shadow gray color. So it's this nice dark color that won't show spots easily. And this fabric is really comfy as well. The legs are made of black powder coated metal. So for the armchairs, I'm not sure if I should keep both of them here in the living room or if I should just do one in this corner and then put the other one over in my office. You can let me know what you think down below if you think I should have two armchairs here 
or if I should just have one. This is a pretty open space so we are trying to fill it up and make it feel cozier so that is why I just kept the two in here but still can't quite decide. And this bench I was putting together is the Seb bench. It's really high quality, a beautiful bench made of solid acai wood. And I got the one that's 51 inches long and I was thinking I was going to put it behind the couch. But then I decided I'm just going to put it over here at my piano. I've been wanting to add a larger wooden bench at my piano. This little bench that came with this piano is kind of falling apart. It's really rickety and really small and I like to sit here with the kids when I'm giving them piano lessons. So having a bigger bench is going to be really nice for that. It's maybe just like a little bit wide for this piano, but it does still slide in easily under the piano. And I really love how it looks here. It's really comfy. I think I'll just end up leaving it at the piano. I have had my eye on this cabinet for over a year now. As soon as I saw it, I knew it would just be the perfect size for this space. I've been trying to find the perfect size cabinet for this little area the last three years and just haven't found the perfect piece until I saw this cabinet. I knew it was the perfect piece for this spot. So this is the Luca cabinet in the walnut color and I love that it has these sliding doors. I'm planning to store like my piano books and cello and piano items up on the top and then maybe toys for Levi down on the bottom. It's an easy spot to just put in some little toys for him to play with here in the living room. Jalen is unboxing the frame from Samsung and he is going to install this over the fireplace. We did have a little movie watching space set up back in our spare room, but that small room is very crowded because we also work out back there and it's a computer room and a storage room. So we decided to get this frame screen and put it above the fireplace and now we can utilize our living room even more now that it's also a space where we can watch movies. I like that this looks like a piece of framed art. There is some free art you can choose from, but I just purchased this picture off of Etsy to have on the screen. And I thought that this was going to come with a wooden frame that snaps around the edge of the screen to help make it look even more like a piece of art, but it didn't come with a frame. So we're probably going to work at trying to DIY a frame and make it out of wood. So stay tuned for that. Um, this is the matte screen, so it doesn't reflect and these can be a little bit pricey. So to save money, I did buy this refurbished on Amazon and I was able to save several hundred dollars that way. They don't always have refurbished available. You just have to keep a watch on when they have a few in stock. I'm unboxing some plants, trees, and this pot from Nearly Natural. I wanted to add a bit more greenery to this fireplace wall, so I'm adding this faux aloe vera plant and a faux citrus tree. I love Nearly Natural's artificial plants. They look and feel so realistic, and all of the faux plants and trees in my house are from Nearly Natural. I've been using their plants for years, but I have been trying to add more real plants to my house as well. As you can see, I have that large plant there under the window and the hanging plant on the shelf. I love adding real plants to my house, but it is nice to have a few faux plants especially when it comes to trees. Now, before I show you the finished living room, I wanted to quickly take you all the way back to when we first bought this house and started the renovations, just to remind you how far this living room has come over the last three years, and also so that you can kind of see a before and after. So this is what the living room looked like three years ago, and now you can see what it looked like a few weeks ago before we started this little room refresh. 
And now here is what the living room is looking like now. Okay, so the living room is complete. We're really happy with how it turned out. It's just such a cozy space. We've been hanging out here a lot the last couple of weeks, having family movie night and just enjoying the space. These leather couches have been so nice, really soft and comfortable. I did just use pillows that I already had on hand. I may start searching for some pillows that have like pops of blue or green just to add a little bit more color in here, but for now I didn't wanna buy any new pillows, so just using what I already had. And all of these blankets I already had as well. We may end up adding like a long low bench behind this couch eventually, but for now I just have the blanket over the back. We've also been loving these black chairs. They are really soft and comfortable as well. And we've just been spending a lot of time in here and really enjoying the space. And over here, this long piano bench, we've been enjoying this as well because when I sit down to play the piano, the boys will sit on either side of me and sing, or when I'm teaching the boys piano lessons, it's really nice as well. So overall, we really love this space, and a big thank you to Castlery for sponsoring today's video. It was so much fun to get to partner with them again and to create this cozy space for our family. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week on Tuesday with a new video. Bye.